Welcome to Boston Children's Hospital. To ensure the safest possible admission for your child, we require that any child under the age of three years old sleep in a crib. The crib provided here while you stay at Boston Children's Hospital is the Stryker Cub Pediatric Crib. I'm here today to help you um, figure out the ins and outs of the crib to have your child remain safe at all times. Um, the Stryker Cub Pediatric Crib is a 360 degree access to your child at all times. It has four side rails that raise up and down, one at the head of the bed, one at the foot of the bed, and then one on the left and the right. Um, I will go through later in the video how to manually adjust all levers. First and foremost, I want to stress the importance of having the crib in the locked position at all times. This is operated by a foot pedal at the base of the crib with a red and a green marker when the lever is towards the red marker, that is in the locked position. Now I will show you how to operate the uh, four side rails of the bed. Uh, we wanna make sure that when your child is in the bed, that all four side rails are in the upright position. Again, there are one, there's one at the head of the bed, one at the foot of the bed, one at the left, and one at the right. I will rotate to the foot of the bed first, um, and in order to operate the side rail, You'll use the hand lever on each side rail, it's red. You'll squeeze the trigger towards your hand and rotate the handle to either the right or to the left and slowly raise the side rail up. Again, you always wanna push down to make sure it's in the locked position. There are three options for heights of the side rail in the locked position. At its lowest point, the side rail will be below or at mattress level. This will allow you easy access to your child for changing their diaper or just accessing them in general if you want to take them out of the crib. Um, if you are able to, we would recommend maintaining the side rail at least at some form of the upright position while your child is in the crib um, just to ensure a little extra safety. Again, while the side rail is down, you always want someone at the bedside in order to prevent them from falling out. This is one height. Again, you'll just squeeze the lever towards you and rotate to the left or right. Then there is a mid height in the locked position. And then of course, the highest height, which we recommend if you're ever stepping away from the bedside. The side rails, all four, should be at the highest height. In order to lower the side rail, you operate using the same thing. Squeeze the lever towards you, red handle moves to the right or the left, and then you can slowly lower down. If your child is able to stand independently using the side rails um, or stand independently on their own while in the crib, we want you to use the can't get out aspect of the Stryker pediatric crib. In order to operate this feature, you're going to gently raise, push up on the bar, pinch the red arrows towards each other, and bring the bar down. You'll hear a click into the um, locked position, and then you always want to double check. Whenever you feel like something's locked, just push or pull on the bar just to double check that it's in the fastened position. And you want both on both sides to be down. The next thing I'll show you is how to adjust the crib to an easier functioning position. Um, you have the option of raising the height of the crib mattress or lowering it by using the foot pedals at the base of the crib. So you can see the pictures down here with the arrow up or the arrow down will be to raise or lower the crib and you simply just pump the foot pedal and the crib mattress will raise up and you'll push down. How to use the quiet access doors. There are two located on each left and right side rail, one at the head of the bed and one at the foot of the bed. In order to operate these, you will pinch the two red arrows towards one another and slowly open the door. Again, I want to stress the importance of having yourself in front of the opening. You never want to be exposing the opening for your child to potentially fall out. So always maintain yourself at the opening. Um, then you can provide your care and then when you're done you just simply close the door. Um, it's a little more quiet than raising the whole side rail up and down and then again just double check that it's closed. Last but not least we want to help you if you ever want to raise the head of your bed there is a lever a red lever that you will simply lift up 
and you can adjust the head of the bed. So if you want your child to be sitting up, assisted, or if you want to have the head all the way down, you lift the lever again and push down. Again, close the door, make sure everything is locked. Uh, last but not least, I want to just ensure that when you, when your child is left unattended, that all four side rails, left, right, head of the bed, foot of the bed, are in the locked position. And that also the can't get out is also securely fastened down in the locked position. We recognize that these cribs are not always the same as the ones that you have at home. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask your nurse or another healthcare provider. And we are happy to help out and give you an in-person tutorial. Uh, our number one priority is the safety of your child and we are here to help out.